Hello everybody, welcome to Padshaw Junction. Look what uh, Santa brought me for Christmas. Ooh. Um, actually with a bit of help from uh, Mrs. Padshaw Junction and the, uh, the fairies at eBay, um, after many years of waiting since I was a little boy, I finally got the Flying Scotsman. Hooray! So without further ado, let's get uh, into the box and see what we've got, I think. Right, here we go. Let's see what we've got. Oh dear me, I haven't had excitement like this since, uh, oh I don't know when, Christmas is as a child I guess. <laughs> right, there we go. Goodness me, it's a tight fit. Lovely. There we are, look at that lot. Oh, bit of uh, information there I think. Oh dear, it's all flying out. And hang on, what else is in there? Aha! I think this is a, a track mat, which, um, you know, I'm not familiar with these. They don't think they ever used to have these in train sets when I was a boy. And uh, bonus. That's a, 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 a re-railer, isn't it? Or a railer. Could be handy getting it on the track. But let's actually have a look inside the box and see what arrived. Pop it up. Look, there we go. So, quite a nice looking set, I think. Sorry about the shaking there. Um, track. The Scotsman itself, one, two, three teak coaches, and a selection of track and a power controller. Um, a very lovely present. Inside is also a bit of information, by the look of it. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, the Hornby train set owner's manual. It's in good condition, nice little booklet. Uh, contents about getting started on model railways. That's quite a nice little feature they've put in there to get people... Uh, well, just useful hints and tips, really, isn't it? Building layouts, etc., etc. So that's not quite nice. It was in the box. And also a larger one. Uh, your train set owner's manual. That's a good picture on the front, isn't it? <laughs> Look at them there. Great stuff. And what is this? Oh, I see. I hope it was out like a big. Yeah. Lots of information on there. Um... Whether this is the correct stuff that would have come with this set when it was new, I don't know. But it all came in the package when, when it arrived anyway. So, uh, how to build a model railway, etc. Hints and tips again about running your model railway. This actually looks pretty similar to this one, doesn't it? But in a, in a sort of fold-out instead of a little booklet. But anyway, it all came in there. So, can't complain about that. There isn't a service sheet in this box with the date on it like I had with the Mallard so I'm not sure what vintage this one is so um, part number is da, 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 R1072 so I might be able to research that and find out what era it's from mightn't I but um, maybe we can just have a little look if I take this phone out of the tripod I've been using and we can have a little closer look at everything in the box starting off of course with the loco itself Right, carrying on folks, I think I had a bit of a glitch with the phone then, it, it uh, momentarily stopped. Anyway, carrying on as I said, with the loco itself, here it is, Flying Scotsman. Yes, very good, there's the tender. This was um, a loco that was, uh, I always fancied as a child, I suppose it's like quite a romantic locomotive really isn't it, so um, whether you're an LNER fan or not I guess. And some teak coaches, third class, and first class there, there's the brake one. And another coach there, very good. And then you get some track. There's a track there with a power clip built into it. And some curves. There's a couple of points in there, so that's good. Some straight sections. And a power controller. So, um, very good. I can imagine having received this as a child. Um, God, how excited would you have been, eh? I'm pretty excited now. And, of course, back in the day... You would have just set this up on the carpet, wouldn't you? Um, which would probably horrify people nowadays, train buffs, but never mind. Um, my thinking, though, is to recreate that excitement of Christmases years ago. Maybe I'll unfold this track mat, set it up on the carpet and put the track on it, and uh, run it down here, as you would have done on a, maybe on a Christmas Day morning many years ago, when you would have been excited to receive it as a present, and uh, think, it's, think to yourself, well, well done, Santa. I have been a good boy all year. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to lay that out, get the track on it, and uh, see if it runs, actually. That'd be, that's a bit nerve-wracking, isn't it? Um, and uh, get some shots of it going round. 
Here we go. Right folks, here we go, it's all set up and running as you can see. Uh, the track mat sort of gives the effect, doesn't it, of what I suppose you could have as a layout if you built one. Um, it's very uneven though, I mean I know the, you shouldn't run them on carpet, but the track mat itself has been folded up for so long, it's kind of like uh, very uneven. And it sound, the train sounds quite funny running on the paper actually, but it runs, look at it, in all its glory. Let's see if we can get some close-ups. Really pleased with this. Here she comes, it's the Flying Scotsman. Well, it's only taken Santa the best part of 50 years to get round to it, but hey, we got there in the end. Thanks for a bit, a bit of uh, prompting from the good lady wife. What a wonderful present from her, eh? Um, in case you're wondering, uh, I also got her a very wonderful present as well. Got her a new ironing board cover. Of course I didn't. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Um, there's nothing wrong with the old cover. But here is the Scotsman in all its glory. Running really well, so I'm really pleased with that. Look at that, fantastic. You can't moan at that, can you? So I'm just gonna sit here for a few minutes, enjoying uh, running my Flying Scotsman. And pretending that, um, pretending I'm Tim again, I think. Who wouldn't wanna do this? Fantastic. Well, folks, the Christmas bonanza doesn't end there because as well as buying me the set, uh, Mrs. Padshaw also brought me two extra carriages to go with the Scotsman, which is really generous. Uh, first of all, a sleeping car. That's rather splendid, isn't it? And another carriage. Very good. So I think I'll add them onto the uh, Scotsman, and we'll see if we can get a five-carriage Scotsman train running. There we go, folks. Scotsman running with five carriages. Fantastic. How exciting would that have been when you were a little lad? Ah, it's still exciting now, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's um, this track. It's quite difficult to keep this thing running on this uh, track mat, I'd have to say, because it is so uneven that it doesn't really like it, which is fair enough. Um, ordinarily, of course, I would probably say at this point, right, let's pop up into the attic and uh, put this on the junction and see it running. Unfortunately, the junction's partly dismantled at the moment due to uh, needing access in the attic to get the Christmas decorations out and put them away. So I've got to get back up there and put everything back together, check all the connections, make sure it all runs smoothly. And so maybe in a, in a future date, we'll get this running and uh, get the mighty Mallard running along with it as well. That'd be quite exciting, wouldn't it? So at the moment, I'm just enjoying seeing this running round and round and round with five carriages. What a fantastic thing. So, Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you're all safe and all well and all had a good Christmas, etc. Look after yourselves. If you enjoyed this, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks to everybody who has subscribed to Patreon Junction so far. It's been great fun making these videos. And uh, I need to crack on and get this uh, running properly because the little lad's coming at the end of the week, so I can't wait to see his face when he sees the Flying Scotsman in action. All right, take care, everybody, and bye for now. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. The service sheet was inside the box, stuck to the uh, polystyrene. So that's in there as well. So that's a, uh, hopefully that's all the literature that came with it. So that's a right result. Okay, folks, take care. Bye for now.